today we're taking a piece that has seen better days. It was my client's mother's piece. It held her cookbooks and we are going to stain it. Let me teach you all my best tips and tricks for staining furniture flips. Welcome to Furniture Staining 101. All right, today we are doing a video on staining. Are you excited about this? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna be teaching him how to stain furniture. We're gonna do a beginner video. So, if you've never stained furniture or if you just want some tips and tricks, stick with us. <laughs> Before we can do anything, we have to clean this piece. I took some TSP and completely drenched it. Do you see the spider eggs? Ugh. And I decided to try to start by scraping the paint off. This was a tedious process and it is not my favorite thing in the world, but it does get some of the paint off in those hard to reach places. Now, this video is not about sanding, but I do have a tutorial where I teach all my best tips and tricks for sanding furniture flips. I will include that at the end. So be sure and check that out. But before we move on to staining, I do have a few tips for you I'm gonna include right here. This sander is my favorite. It is amazing. It is the surf prep sander and it gets around all of those edges safely. It has a foam pad that will help you get in all those corners. I also use my multi-tool and this has a sanding option where you can get those little spaces with your sandpaper. You would never even realize that you could do that. It's a super tool. Do you see it? Yeah, I love it. All right, we have the piece sanded. I promise I sand the piece later in the back. Don't worry about that. But let's get ready to add the stain. So one thing that a lot of people don't know about is pre-stain, and this is a wood conditioner that helps your furniture absorb the stain and not have splotches. It makes it go on smooth, and it looks so much better when you put it on first. So here I am showing my son exactly how to put it on, and you are going with the wood grain. It's really cool because it almost looks like a stain when you put it on and you can see what that gorgeous wood will look like once you add the stain. I'm hoping our piece looks this beautiful with our stain. And while we're getting this wood conditioner on, I would love for you to hit subscribe and join this community. We have so much fun flipping furniture and learning all the new tips and tricks for furniture flips. As always, it's way more fun to do these projects together. So I'd love to have you here. So let's talk about some reminders for this wood conditioner. Number one, you put it on and then wait five to 15 minutes to let it penetrate the wood. Then you can wipe it down. Second, make sure to remember to lay out your cloths so that they can dry afterwards. This is an oil-based product and could catch fire. And then make sure to apply your stain within two hours of applying the wood conditioner. He's not a ham at all. Okay, we now we're wiping down all of the preconditioner off of the piece and getting it ready for the stain. Choosing stain color can be so difficult, so I always recommend finding a piece of wood that is very much like your piece and then testing out the stains with it. My client sent over a picture of a bookshelf that she wanted it to match, so we did our best to find a stain that matched it. The best fit was this light walnut stain. So when you're using a stain, just make sure to always do a really good stir 
so that anything that has dropped to the bottom, sometimes they separate a little bit, make sure that you mix it up really well so you get a beautiful color. We have the wood conditioner on and we're letting it dry. We wiped it down, got all the excess off. There really wasn't much, was there? No. And now we're gonna let it dry and then we'll add the sting. Should we go get a drink? Yeah. Okay, let's go get okra. Okra? Okra! Chicken Express. Chicken Express. We'll be back. Did you get your okra? Mm -hmm. Let's go stain some furniture. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, tea time is over. We are going to stain. Let's get started. You want to stain after the preconditioning Preconditioner. You're just making up words. <laughs> yes. You want to stain within two hours of putting the pre-stain on. All right. Ready? Yep. Let's do this. Now there are many different ways you can add a stain to a piece. I like using a soft lint-free cloth, but some people like using uh, brushes or foam brushes. I also use foam brushes sometimes and they do great coverage. Just make sure that you have something that will help you get good coverage and get in those small, hard to reach places with your stain. Just like with the wood stain, we're gonna go with the wood grain. We wanna make sure that it gets in all those areas and covers all of it. For me, my opinion is that less is more with stain. I like a light coat first because you can always add more. You can't take away stain very easily, so it's easier to start with a light cover. Make sure you pay attention to where you are getting that stain. See that one little spot right there? If you stain that first and don't stain the rest, you could have an uneven finish. So I added some extra stain and really rubbed it in. And just like paint, stain is very tricky and sometimes it's hard to reach some of those spaces. So make sure you take your piece and turn it or put it upside down, whatever's easiest to where you can see all the different angles. We are turning this over so that we can get the underside too. Do you see my hydraulic lift? I am so in love with it. I got it for my birthday and it is one of my favorite gifts ever. Okay, y'all, I'm so excited. Look at how beautiful this is turning out. I can't wait for you to see the final product. But before we do that, we have to cover all the areas. We're gonna make sure and get the bottom of the piece, get all of the edges, and let me show you how we do that. I simply took a small artist brush in order to get in these corners. So this could even be a children's paintbrush, whatever small brush you can use to get in those corners and make sure you don't miss any of those edges is really helpful. So we let this stain dry for a little over 24 hours because it was very humid outside and we wanted to make sure it was fully dry before we sealed it. We took this walrus oil furniture wax and actually I think it's called furniture butter and added this to seal the piece. It is really good, it has great coverage and it actually smells good too. We made sure to get this coverage in all of the areas and the nooks and crannies, but really on those areas where there is high traffic. All 
All right, we are going to use this. So this is a thousand grit sandpaper, feel it? How's it feel? Uh, not like sandpaper. <laughs> it's smooth and it will just help us to get that very last finish of smooth, like buttery smooth furniture. Smooth black butter. Sound good? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. I love having my family do the before and after touch test with sandpaper. He was super impressed with the difference. We are pretty much done. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is let it sit for about 24 hours, then we'll wipe it down. It's gonna look good. Hopefully nothing like touches it, like bugs and stuff, so we don't have to like pick them out. That'd be gross. It would be gross. All right. Probably should have said that. <laughs> 24 hours. <laughs> then we'll show the final result. 24 hour challenge. Boom. Boom. I had so much fun doing this piece with my son. It is a simple, simple thing to do once you know all the tips and tricks. Here is our before. I can't wait for you to see the after. Let me know what you think. Oh yeah, and be sure to watch till the end for my son's reaction to the final product. And here's the after. What do you think of this stain? Did it turn out the way you thought it would? Do you like it better with the paint or do you like it better with the wood? I'm kind of in love. Let me know what you think. And as always, remember that you don't need to let fear stop you. You've got this. Thank you for being here with the Furniture Flippers Guide and I can't wait to see you for the next flip.